Hello from Austria. I'm Andreas Helm and I'm Principal Oboe of the Irish Baroque Orchestra. And as you can see, I'm playing many different kinds of different historical oboes. A Baroque oboe consists of three pieces. A top joint, a middle joint and a bell. In comparison to its modern sister, the modern oboe, a Baroque oboe has much fewer keys. It's only two keys for some low notes. And maybe the biggest difference is that there is no octave key, which means I need to change my way of breathing out into the oboe in order to produce notes of different registers. Oh, it still doesn't work. I'm missing something really essential. I'm missing the reed. The reed is kind of the soul of the instrument and basically it's just a piece of cane which is bent in the middle and tied on a metal tube which is called staple and then the oboists scrape the reed with different tools such as knives, scissors, pliers and whatsoever. If you scrape it in a decent way, the reed produces a sound by itself already. And it also produces a very nice sound if you take it further into your mouth, which is called crawing. And if a reed crawls freely, you can be almost sure that it is a, that it is a good reed. You put the reed into the oboe, and now I can show you the different registers that I can produce with different speeds of air. I had a very normal career in the beginning. I started to play the recorder at the age of six in music school. At the age of 13 I realized that music is somehow becoming more important in my life and so I went for an orchestral instrument. I chose the modern oboe, but somehow I, I was never really comfortable playing Baroque music, which was my favorite music on this instrument. And it was actually a concert where the Baroque oboe was played really, really beautifully that opened my world. I fell in love with the sound, I fell in love with the with the way of playing the music on this instrument uh, and that was at the age of 19 where I decided to become a Baroque oboe player. In my opinion the composer that that wrote the most beautiful music for this instrument was Johann Sebastian Bach. And I'm quite lucky that in my musical career I can play a lot of music by this remarkable composer. But today I will play a little song for you by Henry Purcell from his mask, The Fairy Queen. <laughs> 